Ferguson. You right, see right, so right. many of us, Jim. you know. I, yeah, the Ferguson, I knew Jim. Yeah, we did this not too long ago, nine months or something like that. Mm -hmm. And I just asked you, Jim, I just asked you if uh, you were at the screening last night for Independence Day, and you were there. Yeah. Did you get the feeling I did? I thought I was at the Super Bowl, seventh game of the World Series, NBA Finals. Uh, the, the, they're singing the national anthem and the people can't wait. I know. You know what I mean? Yeah. The buzz. I know. I know. Uh, there was such anticipation for it, but I think, but unbelievably, and it was the first time I saw the movie, all through the movie it kind of delivers what they're hoping to see and they're like, it's like the Super Bowl. That's yeah. right. It's like a rock concert. They're really thrilled and overwhelmed and at the end satisfied yeah. with this thing that they've gotten. And it must make you feel good to come home. You see buses that say, Independence Day, rush hour is over forever. You know, I saw that today. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? <laughs> um, I know. Don't make plans for August. Don't make plans for August. Don't make plans for August. Yeah. It has to make you feel good as, a, as an actor to be part of a project like this. Uh, it's as a genre film, almost makes it, it's going to make history you think to so? some degree. Yeah. It's, it's great. I, I hope it, it, it turns out like it seems like it could. Uh, yeah, it's thrilling, you know. I mean, being in Jurassic Park and and, and that doing so well, uh, but it's it's great. It's great. I mean, you know, I've been in little plays where you know, in a little theater that seats about thirty people mm -hmm. and six show up, and this is different. This is the other end of it, where you know that a lot of people mm -hmm. are going to see it, and it's very thrilling. It's thrilling. It really is. And yeah, Jeff. For our viewers that know, it's a big disaster film. Uh, personally, I thought there's a nice beginning, there's a middle and an end, like a, a play should be. Mm. Could you give a just a brief synopsis of the story? I know okay. that's e not easy to do, but just... Let's see, it's, it's a really pretty simple. Um, aliens c d descend on Earth with ships the size of cities. Los Angeles, New York, and Washington, they hover over. And uh, I'm the guy who first figures out what they're up to and that they're going to attack, which they do, and they go on to destroy those cities along with many worldwide cities. Luckily, I've saved my wife from getting killed and in the process have saved the president and we're all up in the air and become the front line first team of defense and counterattack, which we then mount, which I play a big part in, luckily, and in for, with a lot of fun for me. and. Uh, and with, I can't give away the ending. We, is, we, we, we fight them back. And, and as uh, Margaret Cullen, press secretary, says, yes. who's your wife, that's right. ex-wife, yes. that you're just a cable guy. And what do you know? <laughs> what do I know, people? Yes, I've, I've sort of kept my <laughs> yes. resources to myself, but, f but find good use for them here and try to fight these yeah. aliens off from destroying the whole human race. And you have to see the movie to find out what happens. That's uh, right. But along taking that ride, yep. as I was just laughing, there is humor. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And there's an actor that you play opposite who plays your father. He's just, I think it's his debut. I'm not sure. Really. Oh, no, Judd Hirsch. <laughs> Judd Hirsch, he's been in many a movies. No, I'm just, so, yeah. I'm just joking. Yeah, yeah, course, yeah. You know. He's spectacular, isn't he? Isn't he? Oh, so yeah. funny yeah. and so human, real, touching. He's great. Yeah. He's great. And the whole idea of the film is to have this feeling of reality, uh, yeah. like the longest day in World War II movie. Mm. Uh, mm. And he brings that. I Doesn't think he? he brings that to the film. Yeah, I do too. I do too. They tried with all the characters, I think, to make them, you know, real and mm -hmm. not superheroes. And, you know, and, uh, and I love Judd's character and our whole relationship. It's very yes. sweet. And, you know, he gets on my nerves. But finally, as father and son, we kind of have a wonderful and emotional kind of, uh, you know, relationship. Yeah. With all that you mentioned Jurassic Park and so many of the fly, so many things that you've done, yeah. when you see this film, the, do the special effects amaze you? Yeah. They utterly amazed me. I, I, I knew they were cooking up something big and that they were promising people with these trailers and something big, but when you see them, they're amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought they were overwhelming to see these, you know, Los Angeles, New York, Washington, yeah. destroyed like we've in our nightmares thought might be possible with nuclear war or a natural disaster and to see them destroyed so realistically yeah. is utterly horrific, shocking, overwhelming and unbelievable. The bitchiness movie of the summer they're saying. Well, <laughs> we might have to bleep that, I don't know, but uh, that, that's certainly the truth. And, yeah, uh, and you have to see the movie to get this line too, Jeff, but you deserve a cigar.
Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's always good to see it's you. It's really again. good to see and, you, Jim. Uh, again, congratulations. My and, pleasure. And we'll thank be doing you. this again in the fall, I'm sure. Yes, well, Trigger, Trigger Happy, Happy is coming right. up. That's right. You know about that? It's coming out in the fall. Right. Me, Richard Dreyfus, Gabriel Byrne, Ellen Barkin, mm -hmm. Diane Lane, Gregory Hines. Yeah, it could be good. That's, I'm looking forward to that. Too. Thanks. Yeah.